the fashion industry leaves every year significant impacts. But recently, things have changed. Did you know that it's now possible to create clothing using fibers derived from pineapple and bananas? This shift is not about fabric. It's the transformation of the very instance of how we create clothing. Thanks to major corporations such as Adidas, Muji, and Zara manufacturing goods in countries such as Bangladesh, India, China, or Vietnam, this is the entire industry that is going in the direction of sustainable fabrics. Today, we are happy to share with you some of the latest insights and trends about those sustainable fabrics that we collected with my sourcing team at the Tech Future event, a leading trade show showcasing what is new and what will be the future for fashion. Before we get into the topic of this video, we are moved to Asia, your go-to sourcing agency in Asia with a strong focus in Vietnam. We are based in Ho Chi Minh City, Vietnam, and we assist foreign brands to understand the Vietnam manufacturing market so they can take an advantage in this country. We have an extensive network of small-scale and mid-scale manufacturers that can handle textile and garment inquiries. So basically, we can act as a procurement office for our clients, taking care of the entire production journey from finding the right supplier, doing due diligence on their behalf, all production process, quality control with logistics assistance. If you want to learn more about our product and services, I will leave below in the description more detail about how we can assist you in your manufacturing journey in Vietnam. Let's get into it. So why would you go towards sustainability if you are a brand owner, if you want to start manufacturing clothing or garment products from Asia? Fashion, especially fast fashion, has a hidden cost, both for environment and society. That's the reason so many international brands are now moving toward sustainable materials. First, there is an environmental cost. Making a single cotton shirt use up to 2,700 liters of water, while sustainable textile use less water and don't need harmful pesticides. For example, organic cotton is 91% less water than a regular cotton. Also, materials like hemp and linen have a very small carbon footprint, helping to keep our planet cleaner. Secondly, there is a social impact. This industry is built on making clothes quickly and cheaply, which often means that the workers, usually young women, are paid very little and work in unsafe conditions. They work hard for long hours and still struggle to afford the things they really need. As consumers often chase the latest styles, they often forget about the human cost and the rights of these workers. In opposite, sustainable brands often prioritize fair wages and safe conditions of their garment workers. Consumers are now willing to pay a premium for high quality, environmentally friendly clothes that respect the planet and also the people. Let's now highlight some brands that are leading the path to a more sustainable and green future. Milo is backed by Adidas, Gucci and Lululemon as a non-leather brand made from mycelium and fungi roots. Large sheets of fluffy foam are grown from fungal cells before going through the regular tanning process that animal hides undergo. While primarily made from bio-biased material, Milo is not completely plastic-free, although it has a set goal of eliminating synthetic content altogether. Second brand is Zara with its Zara carbon capturing material. This innovative approach utilized captured carbon emissions to create sustainable fashion items. Finally, we have brands like Pangaya and Adidas that are using sustainable sources and innovative processes. Think once again about some t-shirts made from eucalyptus pulp and seaweed powder puffing coats filled with dried flowers and sneakers made from ocean plastics. That's some of the new items that are engineered by those big brands and sold to the market. So now let's move back to what happened during this trade show, our insights, as well as the trends that we observe. Vietnam used to be known for a country doing only mass production. And we observe also a switch from big players over there going to sustainable practices. 
Companies across the nation are rethinking their approach, turning to an eco-friendly method that compromise a better future for our planet. At this trade show, we had the opportunity to engage deeper discussions with some industry experts and manufacturers attending at the fair. They revealed the current dynamics of the market, outlined the challenges that must be addressed and offered strategies for achieving business growth in harmony with sustainability principles. Besides the learning and networking aspect, we could also see ourselves a lot of different fabrics and some of them actually amazed us. Each material has a unique story to tell. First, we observe recyclable polyester that is an innovative fabric made from recyclable plastic bottles. The process of transforming waste into wearable materials not only helps to reduce landfill but also decrease the demand for new raw material. Number two, we could also see organic cotton. Unlike conventional cotton, organic cotton is cultivated without the use of harmful chemicals. Number three, we also discover the banana steam fiber. This banana fiber can actually be transformed into a durable and eco-friendly fabric. For sustainable fabric, we could also discover the pineapple fiber. Using the leaf of the pineapple plant, usually left behind after harvest, it can also be used and converted into a lightweight, breathable fabric known as piña. Ideal for warm weather, this fabric is a fantastic example on how agricultural waste can be repurposed. Fifth fabric ID, we could learn about the coffee-infused fabric. They use coffee ground that are given a second life when incorporated into fabric, adding a unique twist to sustainable fashion. Sixth and last fiber ID, we could learn about the lotus fiber. In Vietnam, lotus plants are known for more than just being pretty flowers. They also have soft mousse fiber that don't get smelly easily, but making fabric from these fibers takes a long time because it's done by hand in over 20 steps. The production process of eco-friendly fabrics are also different from the regular fabric. For example, in an eco-friendly process of pineapple fiber, pineapple leaves are first passed through a special extractor that doesn't use water. Then any remaining trash is removed before the fibers are carved by a machine. The results in pineapple fiber have similar properties to cotton, making it a sustainable alternative material. At this fair, the formula that they use to make this fabric is actually 50% of pineapple, 25% of cotton and 20% of silk. The production of banana fiber is a little different than the pineapple one because the banana plant is first cut and sliced. Their slices are then put into a special machine called an extractor. This extraction process separates the raw banana fiber from the rest of the plant's material and all these materials are not only environmentally friendly but also 100% produced in Vietnam and come with certifications to prove their quality and sustainability. Now here in Vietnam, it's a fast peace country, a very growing market and emerging economy. So initiatives and innovations can be adapted at a big scale. Nevertheless, it's a common work between the private institution and the government that have to make everything smooth and going in the right direction. That's why there are still some challenges and things that needs to be pointed out. These current challenges that needs to be overcome are actually not only in Vietnam, but part of all Asian manufacturing countries. First, you have the cost of change. The shift to sustainable textiles come with a price tag. Eco-friendly materials and ethical labor practices often mean higher cost of production. These expenses can be daunted for manufacturers, especially small scale producers who must balance the scale of their sustainability and profitability. Second challenge, you have some consumer awareness. Consumers start to be aware about sustainability, but that's another hurdle. While the appetite of sustainable fashion is growing, it's not yet the norm everywhere. Educating consumers about the value of sustainable textile and why they often come with a higher price is crucial for the industry's growth. Third challenge, adding to the tapestry of the challenges, there is the EU strategy for sustainable and circular textile. This ambitious policy aims to transform the textile industry, making products more durable, recyclable and free from hazardous substances. For Vietnam, that is a key exporter to the EU, aligning with this regulation is imperative. But 
adapting to the new standard will require support from both public and private sector. Vietnam's textile industry is now at the crossroad facing these challenges, but there is also an opportunity to lead into a more innovative and sustainable future in fashion. So now, according to this current state in the textile and garment industry in Vietnam, how can we predict the future for this industry? The country is actually known for having 2.8 million workers involved and skilled to work for this manufacturing sector. This is a mix of old traditions and new skills that mean that Vietnam is at the great position to grow while focusing on sustainability. Government supports also this pivotal move and in 2023, Vietnam government has invested over 2 billion in initiatives promoting sustainable practices within the textile industry. On the consumer side, a recent study from Nielsen revealed that 72% of Vietnamese consumers are now willing to pay a premium for eco-friendly clothing. These reasons shows growing awareness for sustainability practices in Vietnam and strong foundation to move the world to this direction for the future. As industry giants such as Adidas and H&M are already sourcing sustainable materials from Vietnam, with the global demand for eco-friendly products on rise, Vietnam's textile industry is well positioned not only to follow global trends, but also to lead in innovation. So now you may wonder how can you approach the manufacturing market and especially sourcing sustainable and eco-friendly fabrics. There are a couple of ways and things that you can do. The first thing is to try to connect to the textile and garment association. They are usually having representatives, most of the trade show happening either in Ho Chi Minh City or in Hanoi, so you can just go to their booth and ask, collect or catalogs and contact. Second approach, you can do a quick Google search that may point you to some directions and suppliers offering sustainable textile. They can be sourcing eco-friendly yarn, including natural and recycled yarn and focusing on minimizing the environmental impact on the yarn's manufacturing process. Some of them have been in the industry for more than 10 years, so it should be easy for you to find them. Third approach, you can visit some local wholesale markets and fabric stores that also offer high quality products and services related to tailoring. Fourth and last channel that you can use is actually to contact directly your cut and sew partner in Vietnam. The manufacturer can already be sourcing eco-friendly fabrics for some of their clients and they can also use the current stock to make for you either samples or mock-up. Just be aware that if you have specific requirements for the material and the way you make the fabric, the factory may ask you for a high MOQ if they will be in charge of finding and sourcing the fabric for you. If you need any assistance to find the right supplier in Vietnam, it can be for garments, textile or any other industry, don't forget to send us your inquiry. Tell us the product specification that you want to do, uh, the MOQ and the country you wish to export and we can offer you a, a to Z assistance. I hope this video gives you some hints and outs about the latest trends of sustainable practice in Vietnam and the new fabrics that are done right now. If you have any question, any matters you would like to discuss, go below in the comment section. Drop us your question and we will answer them fast. If you enjoy the video, leave us a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you. Bye bye. And I'ma get it right, get on sight like